uh, we are very excited uh, to have Sujan Pal Singh who's going to do a little demo. Sujan Pal Singh, it, what is this 15 minutes of terror? Okay. Uh, it's 15 minutes of excitement, but you call it 15 minutes of terror. What's happening here? You got something to yes. show about the 18 minutes of terror. It's so go ahead. Next few minutes are yes. yours. So it's not actually 15, it's actually 18. Probably 18 a little minutes. more than All 18. Right. Depends on how things go. You've yeah. already seen the moon. So yeah, this is the moon. We are landing somewhere here at yeah. the 70th degree, right? Not exactly here. This entire region is called the Southern Polar Region. But this prop is no longer needed. Professor yeah. Haka, could you hold yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Right. Don't drop the moon. Yeah. Yes, don't drop the moon. <laughs> Thank you. We have only one of them. Yes. <laughs> this uh, is, uh, is a demonstration of the Chandrayaan-3. This is the Vikram lander. I have removed the legs. These are the engines, right? So these are like the engines. And this is the Vikram lander. I will use it. But let's come here. 18 minutes of terror. Why? Let's begin. This is our initial position, right? Let me just walk to this place. We, if this was our intended landing site, this is our initial position. We are at a height of about 30 kilometers, 25 to 30 kilometers, and at a horizontal distance of 750 kilometers. 750 kilometers is a lot. It's like from Delhi to almost Ahmedabad. So far away, you will be from the moon's intended landing site. Now, two hours before this happens, ISRO will determine whether the algorithm to trigger the landing has to be given yes oh. or no. Once that is decided, that's about 4 p.m. tomorrow. Once that is decided, you're sort of at a point of no return. The Vikram lander's algorithm, the AI, takes over. Mm. What happens is that initially, the four engines are switched. All the four engines are on. The position is something like this. So you are now cutting on the horizontal speed. Now we have a speed of about 6,000. I'm using kilometers per hour because mm. that's what we understand better in a daily language. This is right now at 6,000 kilometers per hour. All the four engines will be on. The position would be like this. And thus begins the landing. Now 6,000 kilometers per hour to put in perspective is about eight times the speed of a standard commercial flying jet. Yeah. So that's how fast Chandrayaan would be. We then come to the second phase, right? About 11 and a half minutes later, 11 and a half minutes have passed. We have now covered 713 kilometers. So most of this distance has already been covered in the first 11 and a half minutes. The, the Chandrayaan-3 has now moved downwards and the height currently is 7.4 kilometers. I'll call it the phase two, right? So from 30 kilometers to 7.4 kilometers. At this stage, now we are cutting on the, we are breaking the horizontal speed, so that will go down to about 1,500 kilometers per hour. We've cut it down from 6,000. But what, is, what has happened? A new challenge has emerged. The moon's gravity is taking force, mm. which means in this time of 11 and a half minutes from there to here, it has now got a speed downwards of 216 kilometers per hour. Mm. Remember, to safely land, this has to be less than 10 kilometers per hour. Mm. We will now begin the phase of cutting down on this speed and this speed both. How do you do that? Well, for that to happen, you have to do this. You have to turn off two of the engines okay. from this. And the moment you turn down two engines from this, from this position, it starts assuming this position. Okay. So now the engines can also work against the horizontal, uh, against the vertical descent, right? So this brings us to the third phase. So this goes on for about three more minutes. And we cover now a very short distance horizontally, which is only three and a half kilometers. And we come to this phase three, which is very, very crucial and very difficult. Mm. We are now hovering at 800 meters above the lunar surface. Mm -hmm. At this, speed, at this uh, stage, two engines are working, of course. We are in this position. And we should have a horizontal. There should be no horizontal x, y, z, no velocity at all. So you're hovering like a helicopter. But of course, you don't have the wings because there's no air. So you have to use rocket thrust, which makes it so complicated, right? This is the stage at which another challenge comes in. You have to now switch on our sensors. Our sensors have to work. So what do we do? At this stage, our sensors go up. We start comparing the lunar surface. We start taking photographs of that. Mm -hmm. Remember that very soon the dust will also take over. So we are comparing the lunar photographs with our intended landing site and trying to match. The only reference this fellow has is the Earth. Now it is slowly descending. If all goes well, for the next two minutes, 
it will slowly descend from 800 meters to 150 meters. Mm. At 150 meters, you decide go or no go. Now, what can happen at 150 meters? You're getting photographs, you're comparing it with your intended landing site. Remember, we are landing what zone is go, four go kilometers. Or go. No go or no go. I'll tell you what happens then. I'll come to that. But you are now in a landing zone of two and a half kilometers by four kilometers. It's a huge landing site. Mm. You are at two engines right now. You're again cutting, you're maintaining speed as low as possible. Now, go or no go. What happens to that? So, we've just zoomed that part to here. This is the position of your Chandrayaan, mm. the Vikram lander, right? You're at a distance of 150 meters. You're almost zero vertical speed. You have almost zero horizontal yeah. speed as well. You're slowly descending. Three things can happen. One is that your sensors tell you that you are exactly at the place where you wanted to land. Great. That's like good news. Mm. Because then you can straight away land in the next 73 seconds. You can land from 150 meters to zero at a speed if not. L if not. So no go. What happens when there is a no go? No go. What it does is that the algorithm has built a mechanism where it can. I told you the area is four kilometers by two and a half kilometers. Okay. So it searches for the best destination to land within that landing zone. How much within how much time is that going to happen? Well, it has to happen within 73 to about 90 seconds. You have very little time now. Wow. Dust is flying. Your dust is going up. Yeah. Your photograph is getting obscured. You are in a very difficult situation. However. What if you're not even in the landing zone? So what if you are not even finding the alternative landing place oh. within that area? Yeah. Then builds the third mechanism where the, the Vikram lander has been programmed so that it can search amongst the available option in the strange land which you do not really recognize. Mm. It will be able to find out whatever is the most optimal place, which is a plain flat land between yeah. Uh, one of those craters, yep. and you can land there so that Pragyan wow. can come out. I mean, 